everyone and welcome to this small video on how to partition 2D geometry in Abacus EAE. Partitioning can be really helpful in getting conforming meshes. So in this video, I'm just trying to show you how you can make a conforming mesh or a partition around a crack tip or a notch as you see here because let's say if you want to compute J integral then it will be useful to create a partition here too so that you can get a very nice mesh around it. There are many different options to do partitioning. This is the button you have to press. So you can create with a sketch. You can create with the shortest distance between the two. You can also create a datum plane and then you can cut it along the plane or through the plane. You can do it by creating a curved path among the two edges. Or you can also extend a already existing partition to a space, for example, and so on. So there are different options and you can explore more. I'm going to touch base on two of those options today which are most commonly used and most of the time they work in 2D cases. The first one is the sketching. So what I will do, I will create a partition by sketching around this notch so that I can get a very nice conforming mesh for J-integral computation. So I'll press that button and it will take me to the sketch area and now I can really sketch whatever I want. So I'm just zooming in and as I zoom in you can see I will just create a sketch as I show here in this one. So I'm going to do what I'm going to do. I'm going to create a circle and then maybe I will create a line tangent to the circle and then I will remove the most of the part of the circle so that it's the only remaining portion is the area which has the same or the curve which has the same shape as that as my notch or a crack tip or a crack notch in exactly. So you see now I have this kind of structure. And when I press done here, then I will have a partition. So see, it's not a rocket science. It's very easy to do or create such kind of partition. And you can now create any mesh you want for J integral or some other things. To be more compliant with three minute duration thing, since I still have few more seconds. So let's explore the second option, which is between two points with a minimum distance. So let's say, if I want to partition along a horizontal line or at an angle in the horizontal plane, then let's say I will select this option and then it says select faces to partition. So I will select this face because there are two faces now in my geometry. And now it's asking me to select a start point. So again, I can create a start point or I can select a start point. Let's say in this case for, for convenience or easiness I'm going to select these two points which are the start and the end point so it will find the shortest distance and it will partition your geometry 